hairs though. And that is Cosme who's the picked up the grey hairs. But Palace guards are solid. You've got Public Enemy also with grey hairs. So we'll see grey hairs and Modal, Ibogene for Abrasio for the A point and the calf to check and roam around that B point so that nobody comes and back caps them just like they try to do uh, against Slavs on their uh, on their attack. So we'll wait and see. Will it come into play this time round? Get your predictions in as well, guys. Predictions are closing in. We want to see who you think is going to win this one. So far, the predictions are in favour of Banish on the defence. 92% or 96% of the vote is going in Banish's favour. And then what we'll do here is we'll zoom out of the map. You can have a look at the whole map once again. We will have a look. Siege Towers. Oh, there's a Sally out. Oh, this is interesting. I, am not going to, I was not expecting to see this. You've got Slavs getting very brave out here. They are sallying out. On the units, lots of heroes sallying out. Modal's trying to brace all over the place. There's Modal's trying to get this fight involved here. The whole team of Slavs have sallied out. Whole, all the players, all the heroes are trying to do some work. But yeah, they, they switched instantaneously to all Cav. And everybody is sallied out. This is an interesting strategy from Slavs. I am loving this. This is great. This is what we're going to see here. Slavs killing Broken Vortex is the first to die here. Lots of people all over the place. Zaku's trying to stay alive here. Broken Vortex was the one with the first kill, actually. I'm telling a lie. Tell a lie. Van Blade picks up Public Enemy. The defense of Banished. I can't believe that we've seen this. We have seen a full Sally out. Is there going to be a chance to cap in the background here? You've got some units and some heroes in the attack out and about checking to see what's going on. Bodyfest could have probably sneaked a wee bit of B here. But that is so many heroes falling. Anne Frank's unit has killed Butadris. Well, Anne Frank falls to Galahad's unit. Will they, will they come back from this? This is the interesting part now because as much as you've got all these cavalry, you might be prone to being counter-attacked here quite quickly. As you can see, the heroes, it's kind of a living on the attack, 13 on the defence. Slavs trying their hardest to kind of get themselves back and formate, uh, like formated back up. There is no siege towers reach the tower apart from the B siege tower, which is the only one that is at a wall currently. And it looks like the guys from Banister managed to get themselves back in and alive. Not so many people dying enough. Galahad picking up Shatter the Ranks already. 8-inch falls to Tappy. There's still a couple of heroes out and about, but we are... Slowly retreating back in. Daddy Forbes falls to Rez. The unit of Rez kills it. You've got still got two heroes out here. Cosmin, Broken Vortex, still trying to stay alive out here. Broken Vortex picks up another kill. He's still staying alive as the short sword here. He's on his own, fighting himself. He's still picking up kills. Broken Vortex, Salen falls, and Cosmin falls as well. There, well, Cosmin falls to that one. That is madness. Well done. Good stuff there, guys. From Banished. Very interesting strategy. However, it didn't pick up so many kills. We are still at the stage of a thousand almost on behalf of uh, Banish. You've got just over a thousand and then just about 30 under that for uh, the units of uh, Slav. So I don't know what units we killed off. It might have been a decent push. It might have been no decent uh, chances out. But overall, they didn't actually lose that much. There was more lost on behalf of uh, the defense here. Looks like Banish lost more units, but a very, very interesting strategy. I really like that, and that was a uh, that was good. That was good to see some Sally out here, and we're gonna watch Body Fest here a second because I p pushed a click on it and didn't see that. So you've got a push coming in from two different directions here, only slightly. They're looking as if they're coming up all three siege towers, and as it is, there's units on every single siege tower at this point in time. There's a lot of players cycling off. To go towards B way, but that's that could be too many from Banished. They are sending quite a lot of units around. There is only two spots to attack and defend. Well, to defend there here, and they've got three areas that they're coming in from. So make sure they don't counter. They don't like over rotate. We don't want them over rotating for sure. You know how dangerous that could be. If you over rotate five, six people more than you need to, all of a sudden you become. Yeah, it's Banished Island. That was my mistake, Centaur. Don't worry. So, as you can see, Slav setting up on the wall here, trying to get bait in some trebs here while they get their units set up. 
some of them going towards B, using the tribe to try and get the units from back and forward here of Banished. But they're all setting up pretty solidly on the wall here on this left hand side with some units on the right hand side ready to go when the push comes in. Koako falls, he's there from Damian. His unit has killed him. Another tribe comes in to stop the, the counter push here of Banished. But they're not going to overcommit that. You don't want to be pushing too far up here. They're trying to get a pinch in, in the background here. Devastal and Legendary trying to counter in the back here. But there are so many players on the side of Slavs here to defend that pretty easily. And they, they, they kind of push them back here as the rest of Banish are trying to focus one direction. They came up the right hand side Siege Tower but now there's space on this left hand side where the majority of Slavs are. They're going to just fill in push now. This is their opportunity. If they can get their units in there quick enough, they can pinch them on A here. A will be pinched in the back. There is plenty of Slavs players to make this a really good solid take here on A. No units of Banish are even available to even come back on to the point. The Senji Grenadiers are going to be forcefully pushed straight out here by the units of uh, Palace Guards that are charging down and bracing. And they are off. There we go. Ragu. Van Blade picking, picking his death here. Lornbok is dead as well. But A will be taken. And they have to full defend home. They are leaving B completely. As you can see, A is taken. Slavs is going to keep the push and keep the momentum going here. Overall, AN, he's going back to the supply point. He's going to try and nab a unit, but will it be worthwhile doing that or just getting back to the main supply? Shrikon has seen him still there at the supply point, decides to pick him off or try to slow him down. And then the rest of the Banish guys are going to have to get back. A will, is capped. B is now being capped freely. Lornbrook's come out a little bit too far. Guma's going to try and pincer him into that position here. Kuaku is also there as the Glaive support. But B will be taken. The supply point will be taken. And Kuruga Kona... Has forward to his death as well. Deja Vu picking up that kill. We are down. It's still 15v15 here. The delay of the notifications come up a little bit later. But the supply point is taken. B point is taken. Now they have 12 minutes here for Slavs to get themselves set up and get some pushes in here. As you can see, public enemy on the right hand side has some cav ready. There's also another set of cav waiting. And Suricon is out here with some... Is this? Has he got some cav? He's just he's just baiting some players. Daddy Forbes is a as a Polak, just checking things out. General combo using his musket in a position to a very interesting position. I don't know where he's going to go with this, but he is trying to get in a set position here. General combo. Don't know what he can do from there as a musket. I don't know what the range is like. Can he use the bombs in a distance, a position that we don't expect? Maybe. But uh, as you can see, ISG is banished. I've got a set of IG, ISGs. Oh, we have got ISGs, Forter Brashos, Lanchnex, IPG, Senji Grenadiers, and another set of ISGs ready there. You've got Forter Brasho on the top of the stairs here. Davistol is just picking up some units here. Lornbrook is such a brave player. He keeps pushing himself out, but he gets himself picked up. Lornbrook falls his death. That's a hat trick from Seelin. He has three hero kills. And as you can see, some other heroes just trying to just test the waters just to see what they can see. Slavs just. Taking the time. They've got 11 minutes. There is no rush here at this point in time. General Combo picking up the Brittle and Rotten. And you've got Falconettis. Is that Falconettis on the top wall here? Trying to bombard the supply oh, the units here. The ISGs are being having to fall to fall back. That is that's exactly what was happening. Two sets of Falconettis here on the side of Slavs. And that has just made Banish have to disappear completely from that. That little setup that they had off in the, in the supply point in the in the a home point, sorry. Some of the players are going to try and push up here. As you can see, Cosman sees that fall, uh, the falcon is there, but he's getting totally stunned. Falls off of the wall and falls to his death. That is a bit unlucky there. Anne Frank sees it as well. He's she's trying to jump off the wall to jump to try and get them. She'll be picked off here as well. I'm sure there is no way you're going to try and push Falconettis and get away with it with three heroes there ready to stop that. Ru Ruga Kuna is also eyeing it out, but I don't think he's going to try and push that. Anne Frank falls as well. There's a hat trick from Wiz Ferry. Banished are going to have to get themselves sorted out here. These Falconettis are going to do some major work. They're going to have to reset up their ammo at some point. But they're definitely moving off of the stairwell. They realize they're getting kind of pushed here from the heroes. But heroes are just getting focused so quickly that they can't actually deal any damage to the Falconettis, which is fantastic work from the, the Slavs boys and the, the heroes. That's what it is to use your heroes to stop anything 
affecting your unit. Slabs are coming in from the small gate here, down the centre. They're going to get themselves set up in this little corner, just behind the building. And then they're going to have a couple of heroes just in the main gate, just to see what happens here. As you can see, supply point. It's just, it's just been watched with a set of units here. It's Falconetti's getting their units back up. There is a chance, though, that if you were clever enough, Turtle of One Cell, I'm sure, has got Shield Maidens there, but if we had, even if you had, some Javelins. Javelins would do work a, work a treat there to kill them Falconetti off. Slavs slowly getting their self organized here and ready to make a full push here. The full push is coming in. An early treb is coming in straight in that gateway. The full push comes in and turns right. And here we go, Slavs pushing in, the Cav coming in through the gate, main gate, but the Treb is going to come and stop some units. Broken Vortex falls to his death, Koagu picking up the unit kill, but here comes one Cav charge coming in. Is it going to pick up much? No, it looks like there's still a lot of blue heroes there. 15 alive still on the push here for the attack, 14 on the defence. Units are definitely in the favour of Slavs, it's 15 versus 11. We are 700 units versus 400 units. Slavs full pushing into this gate. Forabashio getting set up, Falconetti is still in the back, dealing some damage, you've got some Senjis in the back here as well, can we get the Senjis dealing enough damage, now they're going to hold off and push forward into the uh, into the gateway here, the Forabashio, if they were in position here they would have stopped that calf completely, but there's already a set of Forabashio straight in there ready for it, Senjis trying to do their damage, but Slavs are really solid, they have got setups, units in the back, stopping any of the counter pushes, Slavs have closed off, there is only three heroes alive on the side of Banish, on the defence, there's nothing they can do about it, their other trebs are coming in, and Slavs pick up the win, that is GG, Slavs take away the win, MVP goes to Deja Vu, the five hero kills, 116 unit kills, a total of uh, 1000 troop kill score, that is solid work from Deja Vu, Van Blade in second place with three hero kills along with Tappy with three hero kills, you've got Gumo down the bottom here,